What's up everyone? Welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I have something that's truly special because this was donated to the channel by a orthopedics clinic and I'm super excited because to date I haven't really done anything yet on x-ray technology and uh, I honestly can't think of a better place to start than let's go back to the origin or the the first step of technology when it went from analog to digital. Now, analog x-ray is back in the day when they used to take a, a film and you shoot x-ray at the film, and then whatever's on the film is what's on the film, right? You just develop the film like a photograph, and ta-da, there's your x-ray image. Then they came out with DR technology, which is digital radiography. Um, but the thing is, is DR was very expensive. So a lot of people couldn't afford that. So what they did is they went with a hybrid. And it's a hybrid because you end up with a digital image, but at the same time, you start out with your old analog x-ray, which is crazy. And that is what led to CR, CR plates. So um, these here are CR plates. Pretty cool. Um, and this here is a CR reader. So what you are going to do is instead of using your traditional film, you're going to take the CR plates. As you can see, there's various sizes. Some of them are big, some of them are tiny. I've got a whole collection of them here. They have a phosphorescent sheet inside them, which I will show to you. They're a little bit different than some of the other CR plates that I'm used to. You can see right here, it is a phosphorescent sheet. And when you shoot x-rays at this cassette, this is radiolucent, so the x-ray goes in and it activates on that plate, and that plate has the ability to store energy. So what do you do once you've got a stored latent image? Well, at that point, you need the way to turn it into a digital image. And these guys right here, this, this is a Regis Model 110, and it's a CR reader, and it's, it's a, probably a very expensive unit back when it came out. However, nowadays you can find them for not very expensive at all, and uh, in some cases you even get them for free, like this. So what you do is you take your plate, you set it inside it like this, and then the plate drops down and inside. Different cassettes have different functions, but this one here has this little push button, and that allows it to release the levers and open up. So on the inside, your plate comes in, and you have a laser that is doing a raster scan. Now a raster is when you're going line for line, like line drops down, line drops down, line, and that's called raster. So what it is, it's a laser beam, kind of like a barcode scanner, and it's it's going really fast. And then what, it, what you do is you feed the plate with automatic rollers down past that, and the laser shines through the phosphorescent sheet, and on the other side, there are um, these little photo stimulant bulbs that will create an electrical signal based on the amount of light they receive. That electrical signal is still analog and it is completely proportional to the amount of x-ray that was experienced on the plate. The higher the concentration of x-ray that hits this plate, the more phosphor uh, phosphorescent activated regions. So you'll have a whole entire grayscale. You know, the parts that are really dark are going to have hardly any exposure and the parts that are really light are going to have a lot of exposure. So the plate feeds in, the laser raster scans it, there's a bulb on the back side so as the plate comes down through it's shining the light through and on the back side it's telling it every single point how much energy it received and then that signal goes into an amplifier which I don't think I can show you guys and when it gets to the amplifier then it's going to go and it's going to get digitized. And that digital to, or the analog to, <laughs> analog to digital converter is going to take the analog signal. It's going to create it into ones and zeros. And then those ones and zeros get streamed to the software, which is on a computer someplace. And it's going to assemble it into a image, kind of like a JPEG image, but in black and white or grayscale. So that is the entire function of this device. And it's got one last feature because now that you have a latent image, you have to erase it because 
these plates are reusable, which is the beauty behind them. And that's why it's a hybrid and a step up from the previous, which is just films. These can be used again and again and again and again and again. But before it can exit the machine, they have to go past something called an erase lamp. And the erase lamp is going to put high energy luminescence on this film so it's nice and universal all the way across. And that's what's going to erase the phosphorescent sheet. So now it's going to put the back cover back on. It does that automatically inside and it ejects as a completed cassette, just like this one. Now these things are light sensitive, so if you open them in a regular room, every little bit of light will smear the image. And it is possible to get a double exposure, which means you're having two images on the same exact platter. Now that, that can happen if they don't get fully erased. And uh, on this particular unit, I've got the erase lamp up here. I haven't really figured out how to open it up yet. Um, and it does have a wiper so that you can help clean the erase lamps. But yeah, guys, that's the Regis Model 110 CR Reader in fantastic condition. And uh, just a quick overview of what CR is. Nowadays, everybody has DR, just straight DR, which is an expensive version. However, uh, with DR, you have advantages of secure image processing. Because with these ones, there's always a potential that you're going to lose your image, right? Because you could have a problem in the CR reader. Some CR readers, the phosphorescent sheet is ejected, and then it goes round, and then it puts it back in the cassette. But in doing so, sometimes the suction cups, they will fail, like on the Agfas, <laughs> infamous. And uh, then it drops the sheet down the basin, and now that sheet is probably damaged and or erased. So, DR has cassettes that look very similar to this, but they're digital. And they have the analog and digital converter circuit inside the platter. So as it's activated and it gets that uh, analog signal, which is the amount of radiation it receives, you know, because bones and stuff block radiation, soft tissue allows the radiation to pierce even deeper. So it converts that radiation that it receives into digital signal and then that digital signal is transferred automatically to the computer and you no longer need a CR reader. So DR systems are nice. They increase your productivity and your workflow. They add some levels of security to your, your platform and uh, overall they're pretty nice. But uh, this guy here, there's still many, many places that still have analog x-ray machines and uh, they like to keep their old machines, and that's why we can move over and use CR. Now, CR plates, they're getting harder to find. I think each of these are worth $100 to $500 each, and these ones look like they're in fantastic condition. This whole machine, I bet you, works absolutely fine. I'm probably gonna power it up in a little bit and take a look, but I wanted to do a rough overview over CR, and uh, maybe before I send this thing out, I'm going to plug it in and see what it can do. This this guy is more likely going to get uh, transited to, I'd say South America. It's probably a good, good location for it. Give it a new home. And it'll probably be donated to a charity after I'm done tearing it apart and doing some videos. Anyway, guys, that's a rough overview of CR technology. It is being phased out, but uh, still cool. You can still find these out in service all over the place. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. I'd love to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below with what you'd like to see in future videos.